Hello folks, welcome back to my channel and today for this one I'm actually going, I'm actually back down on the Usher coast. Uh, I'm actually not that far from the New York Castle which is where I was the last time I was down and uh, again it's a bit overcast today, it's not as, as sunny as the last time but it's still quite nice. Uh, so I'm going to go for a wander and kind of like let you see where I'm com coming here to visit which is at a place called Green and Castle which is kind of halfway between the Newer and the Town of Air so I'm gonna shut up and get out of the car in a minute but before I do if you enjoy my channel if you enjoy my videos please click on the, that subscriber button please click on the notification bell leave some likes leave some comments it does actually really help it helps get the word out there, it helps the channel to grow and it's always really appreciated. So I'm going to grab my things and try and kind of go through a wander around uh, along the beach and up to the castle. So I'll see you when I get outside. Just leaving the car park. I wasn't expecting this. It is really pretty. Oh, look at the wet ones are. So, what I'm going to end up heading, as you can just see that on the skyline, the kind of tower. That's Green and Castle. I'm going to have a explore this area first. See what I can see. That's the way I've just come. So I'm going to need to reserve at Green and. This will be the, the estuary for the local river. So, we kind of waterways in there must get filled up at high tide. And you can see over there in the distance, I think that's, that's air. Apparently you get a lot of people kind of coming down here with cameras to get photographs of the wildlife. This is the beach. And just through the clouds just over there, that's Aaron. It's a castle over there. There's a wee path up the headlands. Oh no! Okay, I knew there was going to be something of a beach down here, but I didn't realise how big it was actually going to be. Again, I know it's low tide at the moment, so uh, a lot of it probably would be kind of underwater kind of later on today. But it's just kind of it just seems like a really nice place to kind of come, come for a wander. It's actually really peaceful down here when I'm not talking. So, I'm going to 
go for a wee wander, try and get up to the castle. Uh, I was talking to a couple of locals earlier on and they were saying that you can, you can climb to the top. So I'm going to try and see if that's the case and try and see if I can see what kind of views I can get from there and hopefully be a good wee visit. Some folks out in their Clydesdales. Yeah, some folk out riding their Clydesdale horses on the beach. Not a sight you see very often. Clydesdale horses are always lovely beasties. That is where I'm heading. That is Green and Castle. So I've just walked along the beach from that direction. And the, the walk's a lot longer than I was expecting, but I'm not complaining. Not when you've got views like this. And you can see uh, over to Argyll and Butte in that direction. You can see the Isle of Arden over there to the haze. Um, from what I've read of Grenin, uh, the castle itself, or what's left of the castle, stands on the remains of a promontory fort. So that kind of raised ground where the trees are, it's probably where the promontory fort would have stood. Kind of overlooking the sea, because at high tide, the sea itself kind of comes right into the, the base of the rocks. So, at high tide you can't walk to the castle from the beach. So, I'm going to shut up now and finish the last wee bit of the walk up to the castle. I've been reliably informed that this is the path that I have to take to get up to the castle. So, I can press on. It's probably out into this field. Just walk around. Well, finally made it to the castle. Slightly out of breath, slightly red in the face. I guess it's a lot warmer than I was expecting to be today. But that's the castle behind me. Okay, go and try and see if I can get up to the top, like some of the locals said that I could. But even from just standing here, you can see why they built a promontory fort up here. And um, then why they built a castle. You can, you can see everyone who's going up and down the Clyde, Val uh, down the, the Clyde River. Uh, no one's going to be getting past you without you noticing. So, one hell of a sight, one hell of a castle. I'm going to go for it and finish my wander. Oh, this is... the view out of the castle. I haven't managed to find the way in yet, I'm not too sure if there is. It's still a great view from down here. That's the view to the south. 
there is a bit of ground just at the sea, that's the heads of air. That's the beach. Oh, well, that's me just heading back to my car. Just kind of coming back down from the castle. So, it's been a really good, review, good, good wee visit to Greenland Castle. Because I have to admit, I wasn't really sure what to expect. And there was part of me that was thinking it might not have been a good idea to come here, that there wasn't, there wouldn't have been that much to see. But I could prove myself wrong. Uh, with there being the, the wildlife, the wee kind of wildlife reserve. Uh, with the beach. Uh, and just the lovely walk up to the castle itself. Uh, it is a bit of a shame that you can't actually get into the castle because it is all kind of blocked up, probably for safety reasons. But it's been nice to see you inside and get up to see the, the, the view from the top. But that's uh, the way things go with ruins. Uh, safety always comes first. And yeah, you can always get good views elsewhere. And yeah, it's been, it's been a good day, it's good, a good wee wander, a good wee walk. And the weather's actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would, which is always a bonus. And I'm glad that I actually did make this journey down, down to Greenland Castle. And I hope you'd see you all in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.